I want to make out with a woman right now. You act like I'm not right here. One year ago, I said I was straight. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I might be a little bit fruity, y'all. <laughs> This is a compilation of things I did around the city, ranging from getting a new tattoo, to visiting the fashion exhibit at the Met, and to celebrating my birthday, which if you know when my birthday is, then you'll probably know how old this vlog is. But let's pretend I actually edit things on time and keep on going. It's also funny looking back at this footage because this was a time when I thought I was straight, but you'll see later that I met up with a friend who is now my partner. But at the time, we were just friends and we made so many obvious flirty jokes with each other and while she liked me at the time I was still very oblivious so it's kind of amusing to watch back on this and be like damn I really had no clue even though it was so obvious so I hope you enjoy this relic of my time at the city because I guess the city truly made me gay we all know that living in New York is very expensive though so I am forever grateful that NordVPN has been a constant sponsor of mine including for today's video I've been using them for over two years it is is so easy to use. I literally just click once and I'm automatically in a different country with a totally different IP address. It has never been slow for me. They have amazing speed. There's over 5,600 servers in 59 countries. I personally use it for whenever I watch a movie or a TV show that's on a streaming service that isn't available in my country because sometimes they're selective about what content is available in which countries. So I just switch my IP address and I'm able to access it right away. It's also very helpful in protecting your data. So they have a super advanced anti-malware feature. You can get threat protection to block trackers and avoid online spies and stalkers so you won't have your data being sold anywhere. If you are interested in giving NordVPN a try, you can get your exclusive NordVPN deal in my description below. It is at nordvpn.com slash withcindy. It's totally risk-free and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee so you are literally not losing anything. All right, so now let's dive into more adventures in the city. So one of the first things that I did when I arrived to New York was get a tattoo, which is the one that you've been seeing here. One day I'll do a tattoo tour about all my tattoos and go in depth with all of them, but a common thing that they all have is that they are all flash art, meaning that it's original art that a tattoo artist creates, and I just chose it because I never have any specific ideas in mind. I'm more so going for the style that the artist has. So my artist was Ari, who is a queer non-binary Filipinx tattooer. They were so diligent with their work, it took about six hours, so afterward I got dinner at a Vietnamese restaurant. I would personally not recommend this place despite the cool lighting and interiors. I just felt like it was very overpriced for an okay meal, but I should have expected that because it looks very trendy. The best Vietnamese places are always the hole in the walls. And then that weekend, I met up with my friend Levi, who I met in the booktube community. We got steamed rice rolls from Canal Street Market and boba from Tiger Sugar. We also did some book shopping at McNally Jackson, where he bought Bunny and I bought Howl's Moving Castle. Also, shout out to this cool artist, John Walter. I stumbled across his work on our way to the coffee shop, and I really like how his work is almost like a journal of his thoughts. We spent most of our afternoon working on our novels in the Blue Bottle coffee shop. To this day, we are still meeting up at different cafes and writing our books. So he and I have truly gone through it together. When the evening came, we grabbed dinner at Chinatown with some yummy soup dumplings. I am changed back into my pajama pants. Fun fact about these pajama pants, I actually split a hole right in the middle. I'm gonna stand in my chair so you can see. Right here, just a big hole right in the middle. I split these pants like a couple of months ago, but I still wear them as pajamas anyway because I figured like I'm wearing them at home. Nobody's gonna see. Nobody ever really gets to see my coochie. 
it is 1 a.m. Today was the day that I vlogged the least. <laughs> I did go out today. I went and grabbed lunch with Levi at Banchan, filmed absolutely no footage at all. Then we got boba. I also filmed no footage at all. And then we met up with Nikki at the library to do some work. Again, I filmed absolutely nothing. We didn't even get work done at the library. All we did was act like those annoying people who try to whisper and be quiet at the library, but you can clearly hear them talking about anime and other loser shit. And then after a while, I was like, dude, we're not even working. Let's just get out of here and like go to a bookstore or something. Nikki showed us a discount store for books and DVDs and manga. This particular store is pretty much where you get really good deals on used books. She was saying that she saw some girl walk out with all the Twilight like books in the series for four dollars the problem is that the products aren't in a system so you won't be able to look it up anywhere you just have to find it yourself and then that night we ended it off with grabbing dinner at the melt shop before we parted ways and here i am at 1 a.m ready to go to bed Ooh, i finally got a new york public library card i've been meaning to get one the cool thing about getting a new york library card is that not only only do you have access to all the libraries in the city, but you also get free access to some of the museums, which is actually what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I will be going to the Met with Monica and Kelsey. It is my first time meeting up with them in person. Oh, fun fact, I don't know if it's okay for me to say this, but Monica unfollowed me like I think a year or two ago on Twitter. Long story short, she was just put off with how annoying I am. <laughs> <laughs> which is understandable because I do think that I can come across as like too much in my videos Like even if I am joking a lot, sometimes it can rub people off the wrong way And so clearly she was not feeling whatever dumb joke I was saying and she not only Subtweeted me, but she also unfollowed me afterwards. So I was like, ooh But then basically this year we joined like the same discord server and we were just chatting more often And I have manipulated her her into warming up to me. We are now mutuals on Twitter. It is totally chill. But this is just proof that sometimes people can come around. The people you've seen in this vlog in New York, like I've met through BookTube, you know, like Nikki and Levi. And I think it's always interesting to meet people that you know online and see what it's like in real life because I think it helps a lot in just humanizing each other and ourselves because it's really easy to get caught up in whatever this person is portraying on Line. They may be portraying just one side of themselves, but that isn't all there is to that person. And what I really enjoy about meeting online friends in real life is that I just get a more complete picture of who they are. Similar with me, where I'm not just someone who says snarky shit all the time or is constantly being negative about books or whatever. All right, see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you along to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So this was my first time going to the Met. It was very grand and fancy, but the best exhibit at the time was the fashion one. So this one was called In America, a Lexicon of Fashion. There were 100 ensembles of outfits. A lot of them used patchwork quilts because I guess that's how you would represent America. But I think one of my favorite pieces was a pageant dress that had a sash around it that said, who gets to be American? Because we love a little political moment. And then there were some other contemporary pieces that I thought were pretty cool. I'm a big fan of extravagant dresses and ruffles because if you're a fashion designer, you might as well go all the way. If I got to wear any outfit from this collection, I would definitely wear the suit that has a bunch of boobies on it. Now that's my America. There is also a roof garden commission where we got to see the city views and a big blue bird chilling on a moon. I wish I had that kind of life, honestly. After we grabbed some 
Chinese food where I got to eat spicy noodles, which are my favorite type of noodles. And then we walked around the neighborhood and tried out a bunch of cookies. I got a turtle cookie at Nas Market, which was milk chocolate with roasted pecans on the outside. But my favorite ended up being the chocolate chip at Le Bay Bakery because it was so crunchy on the outside and gooey on the inside. I feel like if I'm paying $5 for a cookie, that better be a fucking good cookie. So I'm glad they stepped up. And then sometime later, I started having some friends stay over my apartment. The context here is that a bunch of us were in a group chat on book Twitter. One of us ended up having a wedding, and since he was in New York, that's actually why I ended up moving here so that I could rent out an apartment that would house everybody to come visit. So Leah was the first person to visit. The next day, our other friend Victoria arrived, so we also dragged her into our cooking. We grabbed some groceries to pizzazz our HelloFresh meals even more. So at the time, Victoria had this huge crush on me, and I didn't even know. And apparently, she was super nervous every single day that she was here. So it's funny looking back at this footage and thinking about how freaked out she actually was on the inside. So I woke up today and Victoria and Leah surprised me with a big happy birthday sign. We are going to go head out to lunch for my birthday and we're going to meet up with Levi and Nikki and just basically spend the entire day, I don't know, fooling around in New York. For my birthday lunch, we went to Mala Project where you can make your own stir fry bowl. On the menu, there was an option for us to each order three bowls of rice for free and some of us checkmarked all three and the waiter asked us if we were really sure we wanted all nine rice bowls and then we had to dial it down. I feel like that moment is very indicative of who grew up poor because we automatically just grab anything that's free without question. We walked over to Prince Tea House for dessert. I got a mango crepe cake, which was so soft and delicious. bookstore hopping starting with Forbidden Planet which is a comic book shop. This is a specialist chain that sells a lot of cult sci-fi books, comics and collectibles, and even action figures and toys. Next was Books of Wonder which is a cozy children's bookstore with a large selection. They have a semi-weekly story time and a collection of rare books too. This was also the store where I accidentally forgot my leftovers because I put it down so that I could browse the books and then when I realized that I forgot it, I was so sad about it. And this trend continued on to the next bookstore at Rizzoli, where Victoria also forgot her leftovers in the other bookstore. So clearly, we were operating on very limited brain cells despite being readers. We did see a rainbow on our way home though, and everyone on the street just stopped to take a picture and admire the sky. It was such a cute moment and truly foreshadowing to my inevitable gay awakening, but that won't be for another week or so. And then that night, we were in a silly, goofy mood, so we decided to get drunk. The following footage will be very cringy and embarrassing, so you have been warned. Oh, Guess yeah! what? I'm drunk right <laughs> All right, update to the vlog. I'm currently drunk. It's my birthday. I have a birthday crown. Oh my god, I forgot to give you your gift. I have a gift? <laughs> Is it your meat taco? It's a <laughs> I want to make out with a woman right now. You act like I'm not right here. One year ago, I said I was straight. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I might be a little bit fruity, y'all. I mean, sober sinner will say different. But don't believe her. She's a liar. She's a liar. <laughs> she wasn't straight. Yo, she was never straight. <laughs> No, you, were, you were almost not very straight a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. dude, I, dude, we, we almost cares. I don't know about this. that. We'll see. Updates later. Here's proof that we're straight. We're watching Holiday right now. <laughs> and we are not at all roasting. You're taking it very seriously. Mm -hmm. I really, really like the main, the main, <laughs> the main MC, the male. The, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we really like the bet. The, the 
He plays go. He plays go. Oh. You know who I find attractive in this movie? The Met. <laughs> we, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> You're so pretty. No, I'm not. Yes. Yes. What's crazy is that I wouldn't have met y'all if I hadn't decided to start a YouTube channel. That is that crazy. crazy. That is crazy. I never thought that I would be a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? That is that crazy. Is insane. I thought I would make dumb YouTube videos for like a week and then I would quit. But yeah. then I wouldn't have met all of y'all. Yeah, it's so wholesome. I literally can't even take it. Like the fact that we're all so close really blows my mind. Oh like my I kind of expected it all to fall apart eventually. That's like you and therapy, dude. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I was like, I love these people so much. I hope it doesn't fall apart. And it hasn't. It's lasted how long? Has it been like a year and a half? Yeah, and it's so crazy because now we're literally going to like a friend's wedding in the, and the group chat. chat. The internet is so weird. It's really it's crazy. So, weird. Aww, so cute. I love you. <laughs> Okay, I'm calling right now. I'm probably gonna make out with one of them at the wedding. Stop. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make my prediction right now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Just two friends. We might kiss. <laughs> I might not be straight, y'all. <laughs> Who knows? It's a mystery on this channel. Now, 5.30 a.m. And the night is still young. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to bed. Essentially. Don't drink and don't do drugs. <laughs> Goodbye.